Classic, and it is time now for the women's finals between Chocolate Swirl and another bad creation. And these are two teams with an awful lot of experience, not only college experience, but a lot of professional experience. We'll talk about that as we go along with players overseas, and I think we're ready to play ball. Well, the white team is called the Chocolate Swirl. The blue team will be another bad creation, and we'll start out with the ball being put in bounds by Chocolate Squirrel. Lisa Foss, who is an outstanding shooter, to the baseline. Carol Owens backs in, puts it up and in. Yeah. Carol Owens opens the scoring with a nice move. They seem to be a very unselfish ball club, Tommy. As highlights of the women's three-on-three -three championship game continue, a couple of rulings come into play. So right now, let's clarify a couple of things. All players call their own fouls and usually the ball is inbounded after the violation. But a few situations will determine if free throws can be taken. First case, after a player commits her fourth personal foul and it was committed while the opponent was shooting, there is the option to either shoot a free throw or to inbound the ball with a new possession. Secondly, after the eighth team foul in a shooting situation, there again is a choice of shooting a free throw or taking the ball out. And finally, after the 12th team foul, no matter what the situation is, there is a choice to shoot or inbound. And in most cases, teams would want the chance of a free throw. I'll admit this is a little bit confusing, but hopefully this will clear up some later confusion. You can see this women's game is exciting, and we'll take it from here. The final four minutes will go unedited. Benjamin tried for the two. Ball tipped out of bounds, and... It's going to belong to Chocolate Swirl with a chance to take a big lead here. Right now, they're up 17 to 14. Where do you go with it? Hinchy. And it's tipped away. Inside McGee with the baseline move. Titans that game up, 17-15. 17-15 our score now. This is a game to 20. Boss on the baseline. In the lane. Oh, I like the shot. Yeah, I like the selection of the shot. Nice job. Lisa Foss, little jumper, came to the middle. Nobody there. She just up and popped it in. 18-15. Lisa Foss. Now Polk trying the long two. McGee will do the same. Polk with a rebound. McGee can try another one. Benjamin says, let's run something. Takes it to the basket, but can't get the bucket. Uh-oh, oh, But wait a minute, did a foul get called? Yep, yeah. a foul was called. Carol Owens called the foul on the rebound. Yeah, here's some booing, but Carol says, I don't know, but my nose thinks it was a foul. Let's see what happened. The shot is missed, coming in hard for the rebound. She gets it underneath, and... Foul was called. Yep. 18-15, team with the white up. Foss trying to make oh, it. Oh, nice. Keen and does. <laughs> nice move all the way around 19, the side. 15. Lisa Foss got a nice pass from Tammy Hinchy. So this could be it. Polk trying to two. Oh, he got it. Woo. It's 19-17 now. That closes it in a hurry. 19-17. Now Polk. Chocolate Swirl, the team in the white, with a chance to win it here. With only three players. Listen to the crowd now. Inside, it's knocked away, and Polk saves it. A two can tie it. Polk. Oh, oh, oh. They got a game. Hard at 19. Janelle Polk with her second two-point in a row. 19 up, and I'll tell you what, the chocolate swirl might want to just talk this over a little bit. In she on the dribble, looking inside for Owens, who has it fake, and is fouled. They're gonna give her the free throw if they take it, or they want the ball out of bounds. What are they gonna do? I'd take it out of yeah, bounds. That's and what get they're it gonna to do. Give it right back to her. Get out of her way. 
Oh, there it is. Back door. Foss had it tipped away. Good defensive recovery by another bad creation. Team of the blue shirt. Yeah, uh, Janelle Polk really got back. Well, she's a little taller than Lisa. And she looks inside. The runner. Oh. Uh-oh, watch out now. Come from behind, victory is right here in hand. They were down 19 to 15. Now you don't need that long two now. Benjamin had a lot of success earlier posting up on Fox. Inside now, put it. Oh, and came out. Gets the rebound. Foss comes in, tries to take it away. And what is the call? Is it a jump or a foul? They're looking, Lisa's looking for the foul. And that's no, the Lisa was looking for the jump. Let's see what happens here. Here they go in. Lisa Foss all over the ball. That's her fifth foul. They can shoot it if they want to. So Micah Benjamin said, no, I think he's asking, what should we do? What should we do? The crowd really would like to see him play this oh, out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Free throw. Look at him saying, no, no, no. Not her hoping she misses it. <laughs> they like the game. It's been yeah. a good one. Game. They got to win by two. I think that's what they're trying to find out here. And they said, no, you don't win by two. You just. The game is over. Yeah. Another bad creation. The blue team comes from four points down, 19 to 15, to win the Miller Genuine Draft. Shoot the ball three on three women's championship. That was an incredible comeback staged by another bad creation. We figured the game would be exciting, and this first ever televised women's final definitely lived up to its advanced billing. Coming up next will be the men's final four championship of the Miller Genuine Draft Shoot the Bull 3-on-3 Classic. Thank you.